we turning it loose today. We turning it loose today. One at a time. Can't get the two before we get through one. Let's go to work. Trust in your brother, bro, and land on line for your brother, bro. Let's go to work. Dogs on two, one, two. Oh. It's important that people understand the mind of a football player. No matter what it is, I'm always go to war with my brothers. I'm always go to war with the people that's in this building, man, because like I see the trust that we have in one another. I see the accountability we hold each other to. No matter what the outside world may say, I'm always go to war for them. I'm always have something to play for. We're always gonna have something to play for as a team. And that is, there's always something to play for. So when everybody starts looking at what ifs and maybes and all that, football players don't care. Right. If, if they do, they're probably in the wrong business, right? You're right about that. And, and you kind of hit it on the head. Take yeah. me through that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's just my mindset, man. Uh, you know, I've been playing this game for a long time. And, you know, each person has something that they play for. And, uh, you know, just when I was asked a question, you know, I could instantly, you know, just think about my why. Hey, brick by brick, man, let's go. Let's go. It's going to take all of us. It's going to take all of us, bro. Hey, all of us. Hey, stay together. Obviously, we all play this game to win to win championships, that's, that's why we play this game. But at the end of the day, man, if you change your perspective, you know, that's when you start to like, you know, open your eyes and really understand like what you're playing this game for, you know what I mean? What you wake up in the morning for when times get hard, what makes you keep going? It doesn't matter how bad something is, man, you always have a reason to keep going. I'm gonna always have, myself, I can speak for myself, I'm gonna always have a reason to keep going, man. And you know, that's just basically what I wanted to get across. We were just talking about Mercedes Lewis, you know, right. but you know, you were seven years old when he started playing. Right, and crazy. he's your teammate. It's crazy to think You know, you, do you, I know you also spoke with Dick Butkus. We were, we were the last two people to talk to yeah. Dick Butkus in an interview setting. Correct. It was amazing. So tapping into those wealths of knowledge, how has it helped you? You know, it's making me see the game from a different lens. Um, you know, obviously talking about his time when he was my age, how was it for him? Like, you know, challenges that he faced. How did he get over those type of things? You know, even when we had the opportunity to talk to Dick Butkus, those are some questions that I asked them. I'm a guy that I show respect to the guys that came before me because if we don't, you know, that's what we mold our game around. You know, us young guys, you know, looking at guys that came before us. So uh, I think just carrying on that tradition, not so much to, you know, to, to, to try to be exactly like you, right, but right. to take parts right. of your game, take parts of, you know, the Singletaries, the, the Erlackers, everybody, and just kind of put it into my game. I don't know everything, you know what I mean? Like, we're prideful men. And we like to think that we know everything, but we can always learn from somebody. And um, you know, anytime I get the opportunity to sit down and talk to somebody that's been in my position, that's had success playing the sport that I play, I'm gonna always be open ear. So, you got to the AFC title game, yeah. and I'm only bringing up Mercedes because it's fresh in my mind. He, he's been to three championship games, never got to the Super Bowl. Right. But is it important that your knowledge be transferred and knowledge earned here is something that is a reward for others? You can't leave where you ain't going. You can't tell what you don't know. Hmm. So, like you know, that. at the end of the day, if nobody's ever been in that position, it's kind of hard to tell a young guy, you know, how you should prepare your mind, how you should prepare your body emotionally to get to that state. And, um, you know, even with TJ, I didn't have the opportunity to make it to the Super Bowl, so I still ask him questions, you know what I mean? Because, um, you know, I was one game short of that. So just having experience and having guys that's been at that, that, that game, that ball game, um, it's definitely a big teacher.